Hey you guys, welcome to Living It Country. Today is part one of our living room makeover series. You guys have been able to see us transform this space quite a bit over the last few months with our DIY beams, our shiplap, and today we're gonna be doing new trim. We're gonna be doing DIY board and batten as well as painting. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below where you are watching from and say hello. I always love reading your guys' comments and it's so, so fun to see where you guys are from. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and do in today's video is we're gonna move all of our furniture out of the way, which is our table, our chairs, and then we're going to be taking off our little shelves here and we're actually not sure if we're going to be putting them back on the space or if we're going to be putting them in another room. We absolutely love them, but we wanted to possibly change it up with a mirror right over here. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me... Okay, friends, a complete look. Our dining room, our kitchen area is actually clean. It's just decor, but this is what our living room is looking like. <laughs> dining room table in the living room. Our couch is, our cushions, I just washed the outside and so there's blankets and craziness. And so we're gonna help make this place look a little bit more loved a little bit more lived in. I mean, it definitely looks lived in. Let me show you guys what the other side's looking like. And here's the other side, you guys. So we right now have my ellipsical in the middle of the entryway. Um, it's going to go into the garage, I think. So we have a lot of work to do, you guys. Look at this. Look at these ceilings. Those are gonna be filled with beams soon. I'm so excited. So it's a full on construction zone in here and so talking is a little difficult in the house right now and it's also pouring down rain. So uh, this is the best it's gonna get but before I continue my portion of the DIY projects, I'm gonna whip up a little dinner with my HelloFresh box and tonight, the perfect night to get my HelloFresh box because not only does my daughter have an event tonight, which is right in the middle of dinner time, but also we just had a bunch of guests leave our house. And here I am. Oh, here's Aria. And it's Aria's birthday week, so she's bringing cupcakes. Hi. It's pretty exciting. Cookies. We're gonna bring cookies, yes, with sprinkles on them. And so, just a lot going on. Our fridge is empty, and so, um, the HelloFresh box yeah. to the rescue. So I'd like to thank HelloFresh for partnering with us on today's video. I absolutely love HelloFresh, not only for the convenience, but also because it's just so much easier for somebody else to plan what you're cooking when you're busy and you've got other things on your mind like taking care of your kids and accomplishing the DIY projects. I know I'm not a great multitasker and so this just makes it an absolute breeze and so I'm so excited to see what meal I'm going to cook tonight. It's HelloFresh. HelloFresh. It's got some food in it. It's got some food in it? Oh, it's a lemon. <laughs> a lemon? <laughs> Go ahead and bring it in. I can't. You can't? You want some help? Yeah, uh, yeah. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week and there is something absolutely for everyone. They have low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly meals that can go straight to your door. I personally love the pre-portioned ingredients which means less prep work for me and less waste that I have to throw away. And I also love the flexibility that I can change my delivery days food preferences, and skip a week if I need to. And if you would like to try out HelloFresh for yourself, use my code LIVINITCOUNTRY90 to get $90 off across your first five boxes. Okay friends, let's continue these fun DIY projects. You're my best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered, singing along Wait! 
you're wondering what our kids are doing during the DIY project, Brody is playing with, what are you playing with, bud? Cars. Cars, Disney cars. So he's got this little ramp that Jason made him to keep him occupied. And what is Arya doing? Is she doing school? She's doing school. You want to say hi to everybody? Mm hmm. Did you want to say hi? Uh huh. Um, no. Oh no. Okay. So what we needed to do starting off this project was take down our existing trim. We did it temporarily because first of all, um, this is the first house we've ever owned and we're just learning as we're going, especially my husband. He takes control over the DIY projects. He really, really enjoys those and I really enjoy editing them and sharing them with you all and I love learning from him. I think it's so much fun. And so we wanted to do a DIY trim that had more of a rich farmhouse look. And so we wanted to take the existing one down and do something different. And we also wanted to go with a little bit more high quality of wood for the trim. Um, we went with MDF before and it just did not work out for our family. It, it just did not, it, it didn't look as well as we were hoping it would look. So as you can see right there, you can see some drawings and my husband and I swore we were never gonna take down the shiplap a couple of months ago when we put that up and so we wanted to continue the board and batten there and it's gonna be one of those things that we were hoping the kids would take down the shiplap years to come and be like, oh my gosh, this is a mess and um, it'd be like a fun joke. <laughs> so we got to see it a little sooner than expected but um, we were really, really excited with the way the board and batten turned out. And uh, so it made it really, really worth it. We also were in a little bit of a rush when it came to putting not only the trim up, but also getting the board and batten done as well as the painting because we have blinds coming in. Um, not necessarily blinds, they're Roman shades, but we're gonna put those up and we're so, so excited about those. And so, they are the ones that go inside the window, and so we needed to get this up, hustle our booties up, and get this project done. So it did take a few weeks, but um, we were able to do it in our little bit of spare time, and um, we had a lot of fun together doing it. Now right here we're trying to test out and see if we liked the really thin MDF board on the wall and we decided since our walls were super super textured to go ahead and do that. Now this is something you would want to do way before putting up the board and batten wall. Um, but we kind of had to go with the flow on this project. It was a brand new project to us. And we probably should have watched a tutorial before doing the project on our own. see a list of materials that we use for this project I will put that in the description box down below and now we are getting to the DIY farmhouse trim and you guys this made a world of a difference in our house it really richened up the space and made it just look absolutely amazing we just had two by fours for our top portion of our windows and it, it just didn't richen up the space it really looked DIY DIY-ish like beginner DIY and we also didn't have the end pieces painted because we had never got to painting it and so with this farmhouse trim as well as painting it really really made a world of a difference. Now here I'm using spack clean to get into all of those little creases to give it a seamless look and this took me quite a few hours. You're only gonna see a few clips of this because who wants to watch a bunch of that? 
but it took me quite a long time, but it was really, really therapeutic, and I love doing these DIY projects. I love the spackling, I love the painting, I love the priming, and it was super, super fun for me. So, not a problem that it took long. Um, just didn't wanna share all of that here today because look how boring this looks. DIY trim is going up on our French doors and I don't know why but this gets me so excited It's always those little things in life when you're an adult that get you really really excited like this kind of like getting a vacuum or You know some candles. It's like super super fun and that's how I feel about this trim We were undiscovered didn't care for one another you and I you and I thought I was okay till something in me changed. Don't know why, don't know why you got me high, but I'm sober. You make me lonely when I'm by myself. I should be free, but I'm hoping that we could be something new. So during this painting process, we actually really hustled and did an awesome job at accomplishing this. We had our daughter's birthday party the next day and so we wanted it to look really, really nice for her birthday party. Although it was just our you know, closest family members, we wanted it to look nice. We always love having a new DIY project done when the family comes over and they're like, wait, did you accomplish this? And we're like, yeah. And I don't know why, it's just fun for my husband and I. And so it looked awesome for our daughter's family birthday party and everybody loved it and it just looked really, really nice and clean. And now we have it all ready and set to go to get our Roman shades installed with blinds.com in a few days to come. Okay friends, those final little touches of the paint are getting accomplished and now it is time to see what it looks like. We are so incredibly happy with the way our DIY board and batten turned out as well as the paint job and the trim. We absolutely love it and we hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have DIY board and batten in your house. I would love to hear from you guys and I will see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye!